have your dough, you have your ingredients prepped, your oven is on, and you're ready for one of the most challenging, but most fun, parts of making pizza at home. From the last step, you have your ingredients prepped. Now you just need your hands. You also need to set up your peel or a sheet pan as you are into the oven loading device. We start with a pre-shaped dough that's been resting for at least 20 minutes and is a little cooler than room temperature. First, set up your peel or sheet pan so that it's ready to go with the finished dough. The foolproof way to transfer a pizza is to use parchment paper. Cut a piece of parchment the size of the peel and set it to wait for the pie. For experts or those with really hot ovens, coat the peel in a thin dusting of flour and then sprinkle all over with coarse cornmeal. Start by sprinkling some flour on your work surface. Take a round of dough and gently flatten it into a thick disc, pressing with your fingertips. We use two different methods for shaping pies. Each have their pros and cons, so it's just trying both and seeing what feels comfortable to you. The first method we call the gravity method. We use the dough's own weight to slowly stretch itself out. Take the dough with two hands on one side and let it hang underneath, gently moving your hands in a circle around the edge of the dough. As you move, the dough should start stretching out. Keep going in a circle until it's the right size, about 10 to 12 inches in diameter. The second method we call fisticuffs. Flip the back of the dough onto your two fists held upright, like you're in an old-timey boxing stance. Use one fist as an anchor and use the top of the other fist to gently pull out from underneath the center of the dough. With each stretch, rotate the dough about a quarter turn and continue until the round is the right size. Gently place the dough on your prep peeler baking sheet and walk your fingertips around the edge, giving gentle tugs to give it its final stretch. That wasn't that hard, was it? Even if you messed up a little bit, don't worry. This part gets much easier each time. You now have all your pieces ready to go. Just two steps left to pizza perfection. Pro tips! If the dough tears while stretching, don't stress. Just lay the dough down and pinch up any holes. Your temperature is very important. Too hot and the dough will sag, too cold and will be stiff and tear. Aim for just a little cooler than room temperature. If it's hot in your kitchen, there's no shame in moving the covered dough to the fridge. Go slowly. There's no need to rush. Focus, take your time, and you will do a great job. If you learned a little or a lot from this video, check out the rest of the series, or just skip straight to being a pizza professional and buy the pizza book today.